you guys. Let's read some energy. I hope you're all doing really, really amazing. Um, okay, we've got health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Let's see what else we have going on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And just the highest white light. What is the message? Mm, hello. Imagination. I embrace. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Hmm. We've also got sanctuary and partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Sanctuary, take time from the outside world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or even go on a retreat. really needs to take care of their physical vessel. Um, it might be time for some self-care. I'm also hearing um, uh, red jasper, so somebody's root chakra may be a little, um, need a little support, I'm hearing. Um, or maybe somebody's been supporting themselves for so long, I'm also hearing. Um, and I'm hearing uh, like a sense of community might be kind of like coming into your life. Um, uh, okay, okay. What I'm hearing is, um, uh, you guys, for those of you who don't know, also, my name is Mary. I'm a channel, I'm a, um, a medium and Claire audience and all these other things. Anyways, um, let's, um, let's just pull some cards. So my readings are a little, how do you say, unorthodox maybe? Um, it's like somebody ha is somebody is closing out a cycle and shifting into a higher frequency and there's some sort of a shift or change where it's almost like it, it's, it's been a little ungrounding or, or the situation was a little ungrounding and um, it's like it's because I don't want to say like somebody's wrote uh, I was gonna say rote, so maybe it's also connected to somebody's throat chakra. I'm hearing kyanite. I do have kyanite in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I have a few different types of necklaces. For those of you who don't already know, most of the crystals I dug up myself, did all the lapidary work and all the metal work as well. Um, so that's uh, you know, if you're interested in some crystal jewelry, that's definitely a, a, a good way to support this channel. But um, okay, I digress. Um, it's like somebody's closing out a cycle. So it's like, it's not like, I feel like somebody has, it's not like somebody has, I'm hearing like unresolved trauma. That's not what it is. It's actually, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like the root chakra is expanding. Somebody's root chakra is expanding. I, I don't know how to explain it, you guys, but that's how I'm seeing it. Um... Something about your devotion to the light is helping you to attract resources and support, is helping you to, uh, I'm hearing retract as well, so maybe somebody needs to retract from a situation, somebody needs to step back from a situation. I don't know, that message is for somebody. Um, have faith in the universe as well. Your inner voice is, um, is guiding you. Um, so that might be a throat chakra. I'm also hearing lapis lazuli might be good for some of you. Kyanite, lapis lazuli, um, amethyst as well. It's like somebody's going through a DNA upgrade. Um, it might even be a kundalini. Something with the kundalini too. Um, um, or maybe somebody had a kundalini awakening. Let's pull some more cards. Yeah, this might be a time for you to, you're working on manifesting a new reality. Okay. Somebody's healed something. So I'm hearing also something about mahogany obsidian. So I do have mahogany obsidian in my Etsy shop as well. Mahogany obsidian is incredible for grounding, but it's specifically, and it's incredibly protective as well, but specifically uh, mahogany obsidian, uh, mahog mahogany 
obsidian um, helps to um, resolve like childhood trauma. So maybe there was some sort of trauma. Um, but yeah, we've got goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and are um, and now a new and even better part is beginning. So it's like you need to get grounded for that. Okay, get prepared and grounded for that. And I'm hearing um, keep your channel open as well. Um, or it's oh gosh, sorry you guys. Um, It's like what I'm seeing is somebody's channel is opening. It's like all of the channels are opening, okay? So it's important to keep this grounded. I don't know how else to say it. It's so weird. The messages are coming through really, really weird right now, okay? Let's pull some more cards. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. You might, this might even be a new love that's coming in because we've got the, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you seek. So there might be romance coming in. Oh, wow, yeah, the Two of Cups. There, some sort of a partnership, connection, maybe even a marriage. Okay, wow. Okay, but I do feel like somebody needs to spend a little more time at home. I'm also hearing, um, like, cleaning your space or creating a sanctuary for you, a very peaceful sanctuary for you. Um, I'm hearing that... Um, it's also important to be practical, I'm hearing here as well. Or maybe it's like you are a very practical person, whoever you are, I feel like. Yeah, you are a very practical person. Okay, something may have happened, and it's like the divine is, is taking care of this for you. I've got the eight of wands in the reverse position. To me, this indicates um, karma. It's a reversal, like karma, okay? I'm hearing like tourmaline as well, but it's like somebody's going to receive some karma. Somebody, like, who who did some shit. It's like your spirit guides are saying, like, I, I've got this. We're taking care of this. We're lifting you into a higher frequency so that this won't ever happen again in any lifetimes. Um, and this person, you're, you're also separating frequencies from them. Mm. Whoever this is, they use their authority to, like, exploit, exploit people. Explo ex exploit people. They, or they may... It's like when they feel like they have any power, they um, it goes to their head is actually what I'm hearing, okay? It's like somebody, I'm hearing somebody's too big for their britches. I don't know, you guys. I don't even say that ever, so I don't know. Um, you might be feeling a little restless. Um, I'm hearing Skullcap Teen might be good and helpful. Skullcap and our like chamomile might be helpful to help like relax the nervous system a little bit. Also salt baths, Epsom salt baths. Um, and not that I feel like any, like you have like bad anxiety or something like that. Cause I feel like that's, but it's almost like, I don't know. There's something. Yeah. Cause I feel like maybe somebody does have anxiety, but it's also like, um, come on you guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, you're going through a rebirth and you're going through a change and I feel like your ancestors are helping you to heal in some way. So um, it's important to relax the nervous system for this energy to um, to transform you, that your guides are. So it's like your guides are protecting you from some negative energy so that you can go through this rebirth, so to speak, okay? What else, spirit, ancestor life, but like, I feel like you have some prosperity that's coming in. It could be love, it could also be money. And there was some sort of a disagreement or a conflict or something like that because whoever this person is, uh, not you, but our nemesis, right? Um, somebody who's got their, their britches are too big or I don't, what is the saying? I don't even know what I said now, but, um, it's like there's, there's some sort of karma that's going to, that they're going to come into, uh, what else spirit? Yeah, this is somebody who ex ex exploits people by using power. And it, this may even be like an organization or something like that that you were that you were connected with and it's like it's like that's not that's not what you do. And it's almost like I'm hearing it could even be like um 
Now, this is just an analogy and this is just an example, but it could be like, I feel like somebody works for something and they, they like a nonprofit or somebody works for something and does something that's really positively like impacting the world and, and it could be just anything and it's just like your kindness just kind of like shines through and you're just like a really charitable person and really generous and um, it's almost like someone was trying to exploit that and they don't they don't understand how protected you are and the universe is going to show you how protected you are mm -hmm. okay so whoever you are I feel like you are highly empathic okay so maybe the reason then also that you need to ground, I also feel like you need to call back your energy. So say I call back my energy, blessed and transmuted, and return all energy that is not my own. Okay? Say that. I call back all energy that is not my own. Or I call back all energy, bless, all of my energy, blessed and transmuted. Mm. Yeah, something's going to end or something has ended here. Somebody tried to, like, stab you in the back, so to speak, right? Somebody was trying to do something funny here. Um, just to create some extra stress. It's not, it's not going to happen anymore. So, and maybe even... It's almost like... Whatever happened to it was kind of like a slow progression. Because I'm hearing that saying, like... I hate the saying, too, the saying, but it's like, um, how do you kill a frog with boiling water? I fucking hate the saying, okay? But this is, this is what's coming through. You, you turn the water on very slowly and warm it up and warm it up, right? Because if, if you turn the, if you turn the heat, rather, on high, then the frog will jump out. But it's like you're, you're making the, okay, you're making the frog, or somebody who's trying to make you feel comfortable within the conflict, okay? And spirit saying, don't, that's not your energy. Your, your guys are taking care of it for you. Yeah, they see your kindness as a weakness, but that could not be further from the truth. It's like you're kind because you know that you're blessed and you don't, you don't, and you can be kind, okay? And because you understand that your that you giving and receiving for the divine for for the good of all um, is is what attracts you know your tribe and um, blessings. Okay, so that's cool. Two of Pentacles, duality, adaptation, balance. What else, spirit? Somebody might be an artist. Somebody might want to get into um, art again. I'm also seeing somebody like at a art museum? I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have no idea how blessed you are, whoever this is. There's a karmic. Um... The message that I'm receiving is to stay um, confident within yourself, continue to heal yourself. You are going through a healing process. I feel like this energy is trying to pull you down so that you cannot heal. Whoever you are, I feel like you are transmuting energy, um, this, this negative energy, and there, there's a karmic that is trying to make it so that it's very difficult for you to be able to transmute um, energy. So, but like I said, I feel like your spirit guides are um, helping you and taking care of you. And um, you have support that's coming in on the way as well, okay? And um, make sure that you're cleaning your space, creating a sanctuary for yourself to be able to go home to and, um, you know, meditate and disconnect from that energy and to, um, you know, rediscover your, your vitality, so to speak, okay? Somebody has a lot of creative energy. You, um, you might even want to go, like, on a, on a um, yeah, like, on a on like an adventure or something I don't know like that's not the right word like not not like a vacation or but just like like um I'm hearing like get lost in the woods okay like don't really get lost but you know gardening too might be good for some of you um 
or like maybe not or do what you want you know what I mean but like wherever you live but um like just getting outside I guess okay Somebody was trying to be emotionally manipulative. I feel like you see through that though. What else spirit has this And this also to me it just is yeah. What else spirit ancestors? So this was just a karmic. This karmic energy. This was a this could have been a dark empath too, you guys. But you're disconnecting from this energy and um, spirit is helping you to do that. And um, you have a lot of creative energy right now that is um, going to be manifesting into some really uh, fantastic things for you, okay? Um, I feel like that is the reading. I hope that you are all doing really, really amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Until next time.